Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Bruderkrieg, an Austrian victory in which we're playing as the Prussian Volksreich, led by a certain Hermann Papa Goring. But we gotta talk about that there Berlin, Berlin rally. Goring shall be addressing the people of Berlin on the situation of Prussia. In addition to government and military officials, tens of thousands are expected to flock to the Reichstag to watch the glorious Reichs Marshal speak. Oh, Reichs, uh, Reichs here, capabilities, eh? The Berlin rally. Oh. Luftstreitkräfte, Luftstreit innovations. Oh, and we have uh, Reichsmarine, so we can do all the military stuff, which wouldn't be bad. Uh, oh, no more speed, capability. We'll read about them just a little bit, I just want to see what's around here. Mauser, mountain gear, armor, tank upgrades, oh, definitely gotta go tanks. Oh, research slot, prices shot, genius. Ooh, interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. The issue of the militias. The Sturmabteilung. The party's militia has been acting with increasing radicalism and disrespect. The reactionary Freikorps, which helped, which, who helped crush the revolution, are demanding the dissolution of the SA. Both might prove a thorn or a threat to our power. Who should we support? Mein Reichsmarschall. A Berlin rally. Him and waded into the crowd and joined the adulations of his loyal followers surrounding him. This is more like it, the people of the Reich, he shouted. A New Year's dawning with it, another chance to prepare for final victory. More cheering, and as all of you know, there are traitors in our midst and enemies lurking outside. <coughs> if we let them. They will destroy the idea of a united Germany. Bismarck's dream will never come to pass. But if we stand united, no one can hold us back. The cheering intensified. The feeling of the rally is unbelievable. And Strom stood at the head of the column of his men. While he clapped and cheered with the rest of them. Internally, he smirked. Not at the Volk, never at the Volk, but at that fat fool in the center of them. Didn't anyone realize that Goring was soft? The darn fry corps, that dude coupling of the aristocrat and banker, was ruining the nation national revolution. Found a victory? That would never happen with them in the saddle. And yet Goring had fought in the war, and he thought, slipping deeper into cont contemplation. He really did need to write a definitive text on his dreams for Germany. Maybe he has a plan. I'll give him one last chance to really finish the national revolution. The purify the nation of the Reds, the aristocrat capitalists, and the degenerates. One last chance. August, or August von Mackensen looked over at the SA columns with rage, invisible to most observers, as the men hailed it less well. He could see that some of them were this close to spitting on the brown shirt thugs cr from across them. The fat fool of an airman and the mad king of thugs and gutter people. What's Prussia coming to? He shook his head warily. If he said Prussia out loud, Rome would call him anti German. Not, not what, that he wouldn't do it anyway. Don Bismarck to heck, he thought. If he had known what his betrayal of the cause would do to Prussia, but all we can do is try to fix it, he whispered to the bewilderment of his aides. Kurt von Schlecker was with his wife, Elizabeth, listening to Goring's speech on the radio. He had to, uh, to avoid suspicions, but he'd heard it all before. Could you not listen to something more interesting? his wife asked. Kurt considered, well, I suppose I could, but of course I shouldn't, because we should all be unswervingly loyal to the Reichsmarschall, savior of Germany, smiling as he said it. Elizabeth smiled too. I still don't know how a man like him got a hold of our nation. I thought about that too, and it's pretty simple. Elizabeth looked at him in surprise. Um, oh, he made connections, he's played enough people, he's planned well and struck at the perfect moment. I don't love him, but it's cool as a master truck, but he's gotten lazy. Cut didn't want to go on, not then, but it was obvious that what he was thinking. He had so many plans for national mobilization, I'm the truest patriot in all Germany, thought. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Ideology be darned. Under the pump, divisions lurk. Hey, we reintegrate the Fry Corps, which is not bad. I'm sure army loyalty. Prussian professionalism. Ooh. Negotiate with Rome. SA. Do we want the SA now, or do we not? Um... Brown shirts Prussia. Ooh. Done. Ooh, okay. The Varex Marshal is Prussia. The Businessman's Prussia. The Old Guard's Prussia. Restoration Day. Ooh. The Empire. Empire. Empire Reborn. The Regency Debate. Uh, what is this? The Reichs Marshal Prussia. Young Eagles. Audition for Strength. The Marshals of Germany. Ooh. I feel like we. I feel like we gotta play this quite a few different times. Now I want to play this. I guess Rome eventually. But I kind of want to see what the old guards Prussia is like, uh, or whatever way we go. So, what is this? Complete the consolidating power. Well, you know what? Let's go try to reintegrate the Fry Corps. Well, the Fry Corps is nominally subject to o the OKW and the Reichsmarshal. It's an independent thorn in our side. Having a peace, then we can now convince them to truly come under our control. <coughs> Excuse me. But this mod is the Bruder Creek, like I said. What if Austria won the Austro-Prussian War? Austro-Austro-Prussian War, dividing Germany and beating down Italy. So, continue the militias. The militias are the spot anti spotless alliance to become staunch rivals. The Schumab Thailand, our personal militia, have expanded massively since Operation Hummingbird. The increasingly radical leader of the SA, Ernst Röhm, has advocated for the destruction of all medieval structures and the establishment of a future spot and state. But the view has made them increasingly rowdy, rapacious, and worse disloyal to the Reichsmarshal. Röhm especially is becoming a major threat. The second problem is the Freikorps. 
forms the reactionary nationalist organization in the wake of Luxembourg's abortive revolution. They fought side by side with the Wehrmacht and the SA against their partisans, after the death of their political supporters in Operation Hummingbird. They are theoretically integrated with the Wehrmacht, but their tr reactionary and volkish nature was maintained. Led by August von Mackensen, they are on, they are on the outs with their regime, but might be persuaded to really it. To really it if the SA are removed. With the SA think of the Freikorps as reactionary traitors, and they may be, given the recent Führer Dameron. The Freikorps considers the SA lowborn wretches as bad as the Spartacists. What's more, the Freikorps has strong Wehrmacht support, and is angering one will anger the other. Weeding will only anger both, so we must destroy one to appease the other. Hey, Arax Marshal, who should we destroy? Well, Mr. Radical, we can't anger the Wehrmacht. The power of the Freikorps should spread throughout Prussia. <coughs> Select this option. And I like this. And if the devs are watching, this is a great thing to do. Dev note to unlock the, the Von Mackensen and Von Schlecker Pass. Select this option. So, I like this this option, so, too radical. Thank you, devs, for putting that in. That is great. So, that's the end of Fry Corps militias, both in key for Goring's rise of power, but generally hate each other. Now that we've sided with the Fry Corps, we must prevent the other side from causing major unrest by making our supporters' influence 50 greater than the other side. <coughs> Let our chosen militia obtain too much power. They might launch internal coup against Goring. End war, end all wars. What do we have? The United Germany, declare the military confederation, we'll get there eventually. Political actions, as much as I want that one. Alright, so revolts. Okay. Commissions, concessions. Okay. Commissions to the Fry Corps. Ooh. You lose stability, but you get more manpower than this one. Pro magnate legislation. When removed, remove pro magnate legislation. What is this? And concessions to the SA. Infiltrate radical regiments. <coughs> Assisting the SA, Rome, providing weapons to the SA militias. And the militia. Well, is there anything else we could do here? I don't think we'd change this. Fanatical blowhard. Fritz Tot. Gregor Strasser. Frick. Von Ribbentrop. Axeman. Huh? I love how colored these are. So nice. So, um, let's go and do, do some of this stuff. So. Decrease by 5, increase by 5 for Echo Power? Well. Why not? I don't want to lose stability. We have to. We can do that one. Concessions to the SA. Nope. SA powers decreased by five. What's powers? Is it just influence? Oh, yeah, we don't have to. Screw it. Why not? Unrest in the SA. 25. So we'll see. And then ensure army loyalty. Uh, oh, God. That's greater than 50 than the SA influence. The Hales officers will mostly be. Peas by Rome's ex execution. We just need to increase the pay and patriotism on the army's ours for life. Also, I'll let you. I'll link a link to this mod in the description below if you didn't know that already. So, want to mention tyrants defending the last the federal army, the Stalin Pact, European nationalism, worldwide revolution. I'm to name Margaret. Hmm. Wow. Form Germany to do this focus? Well, that makes sense. So, where are we at now? I say 25. Mauser. Operation Emancipation. Alright, so if we can't do that one immediately, we'll probably do the Reichshaus capabilities. The Reichshaus can. Should mainly focus on land technology, capacity, and capability. Those three ideas are what allows our military to triumph over all others in the end. So we can do that one yet. 30's not bad. 40's not bad. Because they're fired by 5. We we'll only get 0.6 every day. Napoleon 6 reinforces the 1927 Constitution. Well, as long as we continue to increasing them. Yeah, we'll go by five. We'll probably want to go to this one. Concessions probably be good. More more empower is always good to get, right? If that's the case, we'll probably go to technology. Capacity. Eh, yeah. We'll weapons technology of our forces play a big role into who wins the battles and see multiple times in the past. So we must remain ahead of our rivals technologically. Makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. We're lacking a lot of stuff, including artillery. Not good. Beyond Chi passes the Council of Powers Act. Okay, cool. Revolution of Treason is not good either. It's actually quite bad.
Mm. Still only 40. We got to do another one first. Dang it. Eventually, German armor, mountaineers. Well, tank upgrades, medium tank models. <clears throat> I really would like to use some medium tanks, probably, so we'll probably go that way. Armor technology. <coughs> the French and British developed vehicles coated in armor and guns and used tracks to move, and are called tanks. While well, we have also developed in the console, we never tested too much into them, with the North German plan being the perfect for the concept, perhaps it's time we invest in the tanks. But ensure armor loyalty first. There we go. That'd be good. Hmm. Supply's not too good down there, is it? I'll deal with it for now, it's fine. Come on, come on. What is this? Faction management interface? Oh. It looks like Italian Revolutionary Console. Oh, the Albert. Oh, we're allied with them. Oh. Coming soon. Oh, that's cool. Second Brothers Coalition. Nice. There we go. Congress of Vienna, of course. As we were making a lot more stuff. Prague Massacre, and cool. Prussian professionals. <clears throat> the monarchy may be dead, but that doesn't mean Prussian values are. We'll stand for the ideas of Friedrich for the second forever. Ooh, more experience gain, army speed gain. The more powerful militia may try to seize control. Cool. 50, 0. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get down here. Oh. We're over here. Oh, look at that. Hey, market tree, nice, good. My god, we're gonna need it. You guys are 20 combo with, which is not bad. Um, you guys are reserve divisions, which are pretty bad. Cool. And then consolidating power. With this victory, the Reichs Marshal must destroy any opposition from the Reich. Oh, Spot. Uh, spot is good. Boomed. For the good of Deutschland. <clears throat> Third Hungarian Revolution. Nice. Hungarians are involved. They've asked for support against Austrians. Why die for Budapest? Support them. Oh, heck yeah. National populism. Nice hat, pal. Prone. <coughs> Looks really good. Five divisions. Holy cow. That's quite a few. I love it. We need some more fuel for this, but that's okay. How many planes can we send? 104, that's not good. So we need some fighters at the very least. Oh. They're very weak. They're probably going to lose, but whatever. We'll do the best we can. The good old days. August von Mackensen. Uh, Stuart at the barracks, feeling his age with every step. Getting too darn old for this, he thought to himself. And not that lead everyone to admit it. He walked into his office, only to find von Frisch and von Blomberg sitting at the table, glaring at von Schleicher and von Bredow across from them. He would like to join Frisch and Blomberg, but he needed everyone to stay together, if he wanted to get rid of the fat madman of a pig to fight in the Berlin Palace. Everything's ready, failed Marshall, said of Frisch. All you need to do is to leave the troops in Berlin. That's putting aside the fact that Goring's troops in Berlin, the loyalist SA and Wehrmacht both, but yes, other than that, it should be. What do what do the amiss call it? A cakewalk, responded Schleicher sarcastically. Patience, August. Patience. You can give him what he deserves afterwards. Of course, there are challenges, but are our forces stronger than theirs and better prepared? If not, if not by a significant margin, we better call us off or else hang Goring our heads. They are, Feld Marshal von Bredow replies, trying to ease the matter. Von Mackensen respected Bredow's ability and didn't really try to understand why he backed Schleicher. No, let's proceed, Mackensen said, and walked briskly outside where his loyal Freikorps and Wehrmacht men awaited. For a second, Mackensen amusedly imagined that that booty Rome trying something like this. It would take a miracle to get enough force in the same place, let alone getting his band of drunkards ready for anything but bashing some heads in. Soldiers of the Reich, we're here to bring order to Prussia and restore traditions and the legacy of Friedrich de Grosso. Vovats, Mackensen watched it rehearsed. Or rehearsed. Yavol, half out, Marshal. And Sharp marching with pride. Nothing can stand against a Prussian soldier. We are unstoppable. It turns out something can stop them. What a shame. Wait, what? Right. Left. Tobias Venn. Apologies for saving. Oh, eh, oh, August von Mackensen. Goodbye, Goring. 
No, it's not currently there. An official request. Well, of course we let him in. Mackinson smiled relieved, only to find that very few people were smiling back. After all, this was the point. Uh, the coup was it not? Oh, still nothing. Then von Schlecker handed him a letter, wordlessly. Putting on his spectacles, he read it. It was short and to the point. We, the understand, judge that for the protection of national stability and integrity, it's necessary to solve the entry of Willem von Preussen and claim it to the defunct office of Kaiser Prussia and in the same country. Fear. Further, we judge that after a long time of dedicated and loyal service, it's time for Marshal August von Mackensen to enjoy his remaining years in the company of his family. The necessary awards and ceremonies will, of course, be organized. The undersigned represented. Just under half of the men sitting at the desk with him. What's this? Von Mackensen said. What is this? He shouted louder so that the men nearer to him flinched. But not like that. That rush like I should have had him, him shot the moment we reached the palace. We're simply taking necessary measures to secure the new state. And what stops me from declaring the Kaiser stored into the heck with all those who object? Do you want to see your beloved country abroad and for the conflict? I implore you, Marshal, to follow the recommendations of the assembled provisional governing council. Do these signatures comprise a majority? Silence. Do they? He knew darn well he didn't. Since they don't, I call a vote. But I've all, Schleicher like said stiffly with a curt nod, on the fifty members of the council, I just start thinking. Against the proposal. Focus remnants. Von Schleicher can do it. Despotic. I and mean, this is despotic. So, Spatakus Bund. Nice. Yeah, we'll do that route sometime. Eventually, the old guards of Prussia, though, the madness of the extremists have been quelled. Now we can take, take a more sane approach to improving the state of Prussia and trying to unite the German peoples. Ah, the Volkish issue. The seem Fuhrer, having survived the attempt to leftist coup, must now deal with the enemies of the new order. The socialists, of course, but also the purged Volkish. Alt cultists who still command large amounts of power despite the purging in Unternehmen Kolibri. We must deal with the threats to Germany. Oh crap, I forgot that we still have people down here too. Uh, Rome, I guess, is going to be a leader for now, and we're going to send von Manstein now because we can. Oh, they're forcing attack. Holy crap. Red Mistress back home. An interesting piece of news was passed by von Mackensen's desk this morning, making the unusually jovial figure drop his act for a concerned moment. The Red Queen of the Spartacist movement had been spotted in one of the more prolific working class quarters of Berlin. The fledgling state security apparatus had assumed this nuisance uh, to have still been in the Netherlands for self imposed exile. Was Luxembourg involved in a workers' rally? Did she really begin her usual play? Von Mackensen stared down at the adjutant by the door, forcing a small instinctual recall on the man. No, sir, she was spotted being brought into what was assumed to safe house. By the time we had acted on the informant's tip, she and other supporters had already fled. Von Mackensen turned in his chair thoughtfully, looking out the window in a daze with a flick of the wrist he dismissed an adjutant, adjutant, biting his lips up he fiercely began to heavily bleed. A worrying sign. Oh boy. I'll grab one for me for now. Revoke Turkish autonomy. State Nordicism. Whoa. <laughs> Outlaw occultism. Jesus on the front lines. Hand out church benefits. Whoa. Pressure to the heavens. Wait, what is this? Atom Waffen Divisions? Um, the Mosley Pact. Valdros. Oh. Well, the Vokish issue. Intercepted the plans of a Spartacist revolt. Where major, some of the recent spots within Spartacist have leaked plans of riding in major cities, shutting down industry and causing chaos. We must put a stop to this before it can happen by stationing troops in the regions they plan to ride in. We must hurry our troops. Ah. So ever since the glorious Reichs Marshal saved us from the far left Spartacist movement in 1930, they've been a painful thorn in our side. As the socialist plot looms on the horizon, we must take extreme measures to make sure these radicals cannot seize power again. Gotta crush them. That's fine. Break up strikers. Ooh. Ban potentially social gatherings. Well, that's not bad. Expand anti social publications. It's fine for now. Um, crush and. Oh, ah. I'm just do this real quick.
Best pricing and us pricing. Okay. We could go that way eventually, but not for now. Anti-national syndicalist raids. Cool. You guys here. The war on occultism. Since the Reich's Council of Bismarck and the Volkish coalition overthrew the monarchy, the cultist Norris's group was running the country. They promised the great Germany restoring the glory we had during the fall of the Roman Empire. Together with the descendants of Rome, we fought the traitors who reclaimed Germany, but they failed us. We were betrayed by our allies, but also betrayed by the Volkish, who lacked the will to see the dead be done. Nevertheless, with Goring's followers allowed the Volkish to persist and pers supported them when Luxembourg's criminal reds tried to uh, run Germany under the ground. But after the reds were broken, the Volkish were a liability to Germany. The leaders were granted the dignity of being shot, their organizations broken in exile. The Volkish mostly seemed to have good intentions, even that lack the ability to fight in the best way for Germany, being overly focused on pagan pursuits that were distracted from unification. We'll have to be able to reconcile with most of them, invite them back to Germany, and put them into work energizing the nation. Though they'll have to be watched, of course, but they are a threat with significant po popular following, and reactionary elements among the Wehrmacht and Farco despise them. A threat of answer, therefore, is allowing the Protestant Church, who the Volkish suppressed, a role subordinate to the state in German life. The Bowser's discipline and honesty may be more natural to many Germans than the Nordicist beliefs of the Volkish. Which faction should we back? We must choose a side. Great initial plan. Well, let's go and outlaw occultism first. Lutheranism is the faith of patriotic Germans, and is more unifying than pagan nonsense. Anyone who backs them backs the Volkish, and therefore is an enemy of the state. The Great Prussian Industrial Plan. While well, Prussia is a great industrial power for its size, it's nothing compared to the hegemonies, or hegemonies, hegemonies of France Britain, which rapidly expanded industry for it to compete with them. Yeah, pretty much. Give more stability. Yeah, would be good. Yeah, there's only a little two more traits. I don't want to throw else anything in there for now. Keep grinding out Berlin. Or no, I mean, Vienna, boot past me. Oh. Yeah, I totally know which country we're playing as. The Grell, eh? Well, that was Madman. They pulled the third, though. He's learning, which is good. No! Oh, he's no longer learning. Dutch, oh, there's Dutch support. Enters the plan Spartacus Revolt. No spies of our. Let me run this again, please. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mecklenburg, eh? Alright. Not bad. Brazilian? I do not want to get involved in Brazil. Let's be real. Let's not get involved there. How's America doing? Handsome. <coughs> so discontent, damage, uh, stuff. equipment here. Nice. Upset at the Vienna Cup. Um, I think I heard this before. Are you going to this? Please go right ahead. Russia's Abad's front. Autaki. Concord at the Potsdam. It's 
expand anti-social publications. Execute Libnek. Nice. Which one do I want? Civvies, that's not bad. Curb. The Prussian Abbots Front. The Prussian Workers Front, state labor unions, wrecking this factory which produced for true patriotic Prussian citizens. It gets a facade of workers' rights while subordinating them to the state. Their influence must be diminished. Oh. All you get is a building slot. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Pro magnate work policies. The left dare try to steal power away from our strong corporations who must get be given back more freedom and self sufficiency. Let's ensure prosperity for every German and glory to the state. I really tried to help out those uh those guys down there, but you know it didn't work out. And mobile warfare, which makes sense. They announced Strasserism. Oh, we get a research slot. Let's rush through this side then. Uh, construction speed five percent. Eh. A Volksgemeinschaft chef program. Must create a national people's community that will stand for Prussian values and the glory for the, uh, for the glorious Führer. That's that. All goes to Von Lackensen. Very right. Oh, I still have intervention in Hungary, huh? Weird, but okay. Good job. I don't mind expanding stuff, but not really any point to right now. Increase state investments. In order to bring industrialization to the final levels of uh, our country, we will continue the industrialization program in a country, unabated. But making investments in a country will increase the number of factories to the highest levels. Golden Gap Bridge. Nice. Did appeal to them for war, or we just come over here and do artillery, infantry south. Start getting way more army XP now. Because we gotta save some political power for this too, so. It's not bad. But we gotta do now Strasserism. Good, I go to Strasser, the former apartheid counselor and the leader of the leftist, uh, pro SA faction of Goring's party, implemented an economic plan focused on control of the economy and total nationalization. These ideals are not symbolic, symbolic of the new pressure, they must be all replaced. Not bad. We'll make them useful. We're gonna put some artillery on those guys too. It's fine for now. Need more infantry equipment. Working on it. Pre-war buildup. By supporting the military industry in our country, uh, we'll create a strong army. By making new conquests for the army, we will raise our country to the highest levels in dimension. That would be great. Raid Spartacus safe houses. When selected, all you do is remove. Our infantry coming out. There's no point doing that one. The Blade Ford? Our economy will be geared solely for towards unification and revenge, for surely citizens in Germany have no other need than unity and glory. Alles Deutsche von Mackensen kommt. Bad. Why do we do, do click on that one now? We could try that one, why not? I'm not sure if it's really worth it though. 
the blade forged? Forged. Six more ships, a couple more subs. They're not really all that great, but whatever. I actually get 48 fuel a day, which is not great. Could be better. Pretty nice. I have that fourth reacher slot, it's so helpful. Oh, continuing autarky. We could. I don't mind rushing towards that one, too. Boost coal production. Ah, uh, German armor. The French and British developed. Uh, vehicles coated in armor and guns, of course, like I read earlier. So, as soon as you read this game, please go ahead. Mountain gear. Austria and South and Germany are both covered in mountains. It's time for us to train an elite force to deal with the said mountains. Pretty much. No, we need your attention to be higher. No. We made ready for war. <coughs> and 1931. Our economy was in collapse. Now, booms. Every German person is happy. For those who are unhappy are not Germans. Every German factory is productive, free from the restraints of Strauss or for unions. The workers under the boot produced armaments. Soon we'll have many more of them. The economy serves the state and the army. This has been the Prussian ethos, but soon will be the German ethos. Our enemies think themselves prepared. How could such a great empire as Austria as they think in their arrogance will fail to such a weak, weak nation as tiny as Prussia? They fail to see, and we should only enlist them on the battlefield, or land them on the battlefield. Every German fighter labor for the nation, with such a united spirit backed by steel, how can we not prevail? Our army and state, fueled by the glorious economy, shall withstand anything. Let Europe come, they'll see if they're ready for war, we shall show them war. No, then you shall stop the Prussian war machine. Uh. Intervene more. Petty conflicts are not. For now, sure, why not? We don't like you guys. It's an eight. I gotta send it to you guys. Now, does it make sense to send them to them? Eh, probably not. Because we can. Tank upgrades. Barber tanks are already known throughout Europe, but there's room to improve. Sadly, we now have the resources for expanding our mountain forces as well. Oh, here along his inaugural dress. I'm gonna have to do this once, maybe. Nice. So the line. You should be fine. And mountain gear, of course, that one. And then, uh, or just go with Proestia Genius. Proestia has made leaps and bounds technologically. Perhaps it's time to focus on using our research techniques uh, and, and scientists, and put more research into other forms of combat. Oh, crap. Ooh.
At least we don't have their spirit, that sucks. Whatever. It kind of not doing too bad. We're gonna get some more oil, though. Nice. Um, it's not bad. It's not really worth it, though. Continue on autarky. Our economy shall run on the principle of autarky, completely self-sufficient from the global economy, which produces all the necessary resources for the mighty milit might military on Prussian soil. There you go. Ah, they got some Austrian tanks down here, too, eh? Good. Oh crap, my bad. Wrong group. At now, more extraction because we can. Sure, why not? Sarajevo. I really want to attack. I'm fine with that. Hundred five, not bad. attack and see what happens. Boost coal production? Yeah, why not? Coal is an integral for uh, securing or ensuring that our trains arrive on time and our armored trucks are worthy in battle. Must expand mining operations and start the production of synthetic refineries. Pretty much. Crushing the Spartacists. Von Mack is in reclining in his chair. After an exhausting day dealing with the Austrian dignitaries protesting his troops' buildups, he needed some rest. He smiled. Those traders won't know what's coming for them. Suddenly, he heard a knock on the door. Von Mack is in annoyed, prepared to chew out an entree, entree out, chew the entree out, or entry out. Until he saw his Marshal Heinz Guderian. I assume you have uh, you a reason for your entry. If he didn't, Von Mack would be happy regards of the position. Uh, Guderian smiled. It's the first time I've ever seen that old dude smile. Maybe when he was talking about the darn Kaiser. Rex Marshall, I want to inform you that the last known Spartans have been defeated. The communist threat threatened Prussia no more. He did have a reason the best von, von Mackensen could think of. Great! We must celebrate. A toast to the communist killers. A toast, Guderian replied. A victory at last. Or artillery. Or armor. Really, armor. Nice. We might still lose here. We'll see. Definitely learning. Yes, he is. Come on, take it. Good. Montenegro. <laughs> Next. Oh, we're already in a war economy. Or no, partial mobilization, my bad. The old, the old guard's Prussia. 
Mass extremists have been quelled, and we can take a more standard approach to improving the state of Prussia and try to unite the German people. Proving rubber manufacturing. Russian economy moves on rubber, which provides wheels and other goods to make the army mobile and assembly lines efficient. We shall take steps for more farm rubber, more rubber, both naturally and artificially. We inform Germany to do this for re restoration day. Oh, the German National Revolution. Oh, look at that. Oh wow. Ah, uh, Hajo Deutschland. All Prussians lord of the fear, dream of a day when Germany is free from foreigners. We well, should destroy the Unter and break the shackles they've imposed on the Vaterland. You really want help? We can do that too. I'm sure how much, it, uh, how much it will actually help, but you know we can try it. Nice. Well, I want both these guys anyways, but we're gonna choose you because we should have artillery in the field already. Should have in theory at least. Basic mediums. When's the next time we get a medium tank? Before I say, might as well invest in this now. You know, I can probably do this one off screen. I can do the rest somewhere else off screen as well. Control Potsdam. A gaggle of Protestant leaders in Prussia express their desire to meet with the government and come to an arrangement of our anti clerical. Stop our anti clerical policy. With the Volkswagen gone, the church will please Russian traditionalists and short our position. Volkswagen, the people's car, looks to provide more automobiles for civilians and high tech vehicles for military. To bolster transportation across Russia, we must fund uh, fund their endeavors. But enjoy the video. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up going to war with the Austrian Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.